Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 870, Missing Named Inline Citations. Causes for Suggestion 870 include possible typo, a space in the reference name, and no source given with the named reference. Here is a public view of Carolyn Sapp's profile. As you can see, there is a fourth superscript in the Sources section, but no source is cited. There is also a duplicated marriage reference. Before proceeding, if you haven't done so yet, click on her suggestions. There is only one. Look at the info column. It states that the issue is with the 1850 census. Return to her profile and click Edit. Carefully review the biography section. There is a named 1850 census inline citation with a forward slash in the second paragraph. However, there is no sourced named inline citation for that census. Looking further, in the first paragraph, there is a duplicate marriage reference. The 1850 census source needs to be found. Go to the top right of her screen and hover over her Wikitree ID. On the drop-down menu, click on Research. This takes you to RootSearch, which compiles several genealogy sites. Change Carolyn's maiden name to her married name of Holland, since she was married by 1850. Go to the bottom of the screen and choose where to search. Since it is a free site, click on Family Search. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Family Search shows an 1850 census record for Carolyn Holland. Click on the icon at the right of the screen. It matches her biography. Click on the Document Information button and the source citation appears. Keep that screen open and return to Carolyn's profile. Delete the duplicate marriage record. Place the cursor between Georgia and the first angled bracket of the 1860 census reference. Click on the citation button above. Return to the family search document and copy the source citation, pasting it over insert reference here in Carolyn's biography. Next, name the census by adding a space after ref, then name equal 1850 census. Click Preview to check your work. All sources are properly cited with no empty superscript as before. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree members and is a requirement for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, list the suggestion number and name, and explain what I've changed. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions Report, and on the far right, click the Status button. On the next screen, the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Choose a status, in this case, Corrected. Leave a comment from the comment hints, or you can make your own. I chose a hint and added my own comment. Click the Update Status button. Last, the Status History box shows that your changes have been recorded. And you're done.